Hi, my name is Ryan Van Slyke. I am a proud Indiana University and Jacobs School of Grad from the class of 2018. Um, while, while at IU, I was fortunate enough to do the Bachelor of Science in Music in an Outside Field and did both trombone and international studies in, in addition to a whole range of things across campus. Um, you know, throughout my time, I was really blessed to get to work and learn with some really just amazing people, musicians, thinkers. Um, on trombone, I got to study with three, actually, M.D. Stewart, Jared Roden, and Denson Paul Pollard. Um, conducting, did with Dr. Eric Smedley and Dr. Chris Albanese. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, two people who were very influential in my life, at least in Bloomington, were Professor Andrew Mead in the Music Theory Department, and then the former Dean Gwyn Richards. Currently, I'm a senior consultant at Booz Allen Hamilton in Washington, D.C., um, the principal trombone of the Washington Metropolitan Philharmonic, as well as a regular music teacher at an after-school music program for underprivileged youth at the DC Dream Center. Going to the Jacobs School was one of the one of the most important things in my life so far and one of the places where I grew the most, not only as a musician, not only as a thinker and as a scholar, um, but also as a person. And through that time, one of the things that I was really proud to do was start the Hoosier Pops Orchestra, which was Bloomington, or at least Indiana University's first non-major or sort of major and non-major group dedicated to performing underperformed music at the Jacobs School related to Broadway, movie music, rock, jazz, you know, things that we would listen to on Spotify or, or, on, or on the radio. So that was a great opportunity to both lead, a, you know, a group of 40 individuals as well as a team of eight executive board members, as well as gain marketing, strategic communications, um, management, and an artistic leadership experience as well. You know, I was fortunate throughout my time at IU to have a series of internships and work experiences both throughout the year as well as during the summers that really helped prepare me for the career that I currently have, which is helping support US government agencies on a range of policy, data, strategy and acquisitions types of projects. Those experiences both in Syracuse, New York, in Maastricht, the Netherlands, and in New York City, you know, helped augment that, that career progression. When I think about the lessons that I learned at the Jacobs School and, and learned at Indiana University, the first that comes to mind is you grow the most when you surround yourself with people who are better than you, who you can learn from, and who push you to be better. I was reminded of this recently. There was a great article in, by CNBC where Warren Buffett talks about his relationship with Bill Gates. And one of the things that Warren Buffett has told Bill Gates as a, you know, as a real testament to their friendship is that Bill helps push Warren and make Warren better or pushes his thinking, comes at it from different perspectives. Um, I definitely found that that was true through my experience at the Jacobs School and at Indiana University at large, that having such a close community of 45 trombone majors, um, some of whom you know, I still remain friends with and some who have played a big impact on my life, um, you know, definitely had that kind of impact on me. The second is that musicians have, and I, didn't, and I realized this when I was going through job applications and internship applications, that musicians have innate skill sets and personality characteristics that are in high demand in non-music fields. And all that it requires is an effort to translate those experiences, right? So as musicians, we're people who excel at dedication, at attention to detail, at perseverance, at the ability to work in teams, both large and small. I always use the example of being working in a team of 250 people each day in the marching hundred, right? Or working with a team of two people, myself and a pianist in, in my sophomore, junior, or senior recital. Other characteristics like pattern recognition, right? Especially if you're a music theory or a musicology student, or you're just really good at seeing how 
ideas relate to each other across pieces or across a composer's um, you know, oeuvre of works. I think the last thing is actually one that Alain Barker told me that I've never forgotten, that musicians are the only people who are trained to listen. Makes sense, right? Every, every time in, you know, in my job, every day I'm listening to clients and I'm trying to help them understand and articulate their business problems and then create solutions to remedy those, right? Much, much like a doctor. So all of those skills, I think are highly transferable between a music career and the one that I'm in right now, which is, which is management consulting. And actually there are 78 employees at Booz Allen Hamilton who have undergraduate or graduate degrees in music, including four from the Jacobs School and others from Berkeley College of Music, Oberlin, Northwestern, USC, you know, all really top quality schools. The last lesson that I learned um, throughout my time is don't be afraid to reach out and network for potential playing opportunities. Two examples stick out in my mind for this. The first is when I was, after my sophomore year of undergrad, I was fortunate enough to have an internship over in Maastricht, the Netherlands, working for the United Nations University, doing a lot of research, um, especially related to health and migration of Syrian refugees who had just come to Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany during the refugee crisis of 2015, 2016. And in that period, I actually brought my trombone over and I had reached out to a couple of wind bands in Maastricht and said, hey, I'm an American, I'm gonna be here for the summer, is there any possibility that I could play with you? And I ended up playing with two wind bands and getting to travel the country with one of them and solo in the other. And that was just the most wonderful musical experience for me or set of musical experiences. I was the only person who didn't speak Dutch, but had to learn quickly to learn where we were starting and what measure number. Um, but it was, it was a true example of cultural diplomacy, and it was a true example of being able to create opportunities for yourself just by reaching out and, and just by sharing that connection and that story and that love of music. The second is when I came here to Washington, D.C. to start my new job at Booz Allen, I actually reached out to a number of groups and asked if they had openings for trombonists. And the Washington Metropolitan Philharmonic, which has been a great ensemble to be in for the past two and a half years, said, yeah, we, we have an opening for second trombone. That started both my time with them and then being promoted to principal, as well as helping open up other playing opportunities with the Capital City Symphony, with the DC Strings Workshop, um, and, other, and other groups around the city. So don't be afraid to reach out. I know that it can be it can be scary and, and you're, you're making yourself vulnerable, but, um, but the things that you want, you're only going to be able to get if you ask for them. When I think about the future um, in, my, in my career, or at least in my area of work, right, with, with government, a lot of the, a lot of the challenges are, are technological, right? Big data, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and helping organizations use data to inform their decision making, right? And to inform how they, how they augment their capabilities to effectively and efficiently serve citizens. For me, my own career is that I'm always constantly trying to learn. And I likely will be staying at Booz Allen for another two to three years before going back to graduate school. And then from there, you know, the, po the possibilities are endless, either coming back into the consulting field, being able to go to work for State Department as a foreign service officer or work for the UN, or get, you know, get involved in cultural and musical diplomacy um, as, a, as a way to marry both of my interests. So I hope that all of that is to say that musicians have a lot of opportunities outside of the outside of having your you know nine to five job or your you know your paycheck primarily coming from music. I'm always happy to engage with IU students, with IU alums, and 
help them out and, and talk with them as much as I can. So please feel free to reach out if you would like to learn more, if you have questions or if I can ever be of help. So thank, thanks so much.